Tampa Bay Lightning, Montreal Canadiens, Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals. We've got your game summary, coming up. All right, Paul. This was a uh, this was a lot more exciting a game, and uh, you know a little bit of momentum coming back Montreal's way. What'd you think tonight? Yeah, I was a little bit worried tonight when they took that penalty late in the game. That four minute high sticking. It's a legit penalty, but what an awful way to end a, a great Stanley Cup. Luckily, it didn't happen. Tonight, uh, certainly great for Habs fans to uh, to have things turning around a little bit the other way. But I need to say, even if I'm a Tampa Bay fan, what I actually liked from tonight's performance was that Tampa was showing, you know, they still had their depth performers doing well. They still had um, some, you know, strong control of the play and, and the, their great passing was still happening. Uh, I'm still pretty worried if I'm uh, if I'm really going to be objective about uh, the situation on Montreal's side because Tampa still looks very strong to me. What do you think? Absolutely, the Tampa Bay uh, has a stronger skill set. They move that puck like no team I've seen in years. Montreal really struggles against them in the faceoffs, and they struggle with them on in the one-on-one -on -one battles. And Montreal uh, has a real problem with uh, turnovers. Uh, they really need to tighten that up if they want any any form of success moving forward. Josh Anderson. It seems to me that uh, fairly recently, somebody I know was uh, throwing some shade Josh's way. And uh, let's cue that memory right now. Josh Anderson has been a non-factor. He's been just mediocre at best, mediocre at best. Uh, so, Paul, do you have uh, anything now to say about uh, that, uh, about Josh's performance tonight? Well, I, I know Puck Dudes is growing fairly quickly, but I'm really happy to see that Josh Anderson uh, was watching the, the YouTube channel <laughs> and, and saw my comments and picked up his game like a good hockey player should. Clearly. He, he's growing, and that's well done. Yeah, yeah. Any good professional does, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> anyway, well done to Josh Anderson for that uh, that little turnaround. Um, let's talk about momentum. Uh, if Montreal, Montreal's won this one, and that's uh, obviously in terms of uh, being down three nothing, then winning one, um, that's already quite an you know quite an accomplishment in terms of turning things around. But there's still a long ways from winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, but if Montreal were to win again. Um, would that change the story in terms of momentum? Oh, I think if they could win again, but they've got a lot of work to do to to be at uh, Tampa's level. Like I said, Tampa wins all the battles, and, and they're just a better team. Montreal got lucky tonight. The only thing that uh, Montreal's really got going for them, they've got a world-class penalty kill. So they were able to, you know, fight them off tonight, but... Back in Tampa, uh, for some reason there, it doesn't work out for them. They haven't won in Tampa in a while, so they're really battling uphill. Before we get to Game 5 predictions, uh, Paul, one, one interesting question. If Tampa had put the puck in the net in overtime tonight, that would have ended the Stanley Cup Finals, the playoffs would have been over, and we would have needed to have a Conn Smythe winner. Who would you have picked for the Conn Smythe if tonight's game had been the end of it? Well, for me, it's a no-brainer. It's Nikita Kucherov, 32 points uh, in the playoffs, uh, the straw that stirs the drink. He's phenomenal. Points been great. Vasilevsky's been good, but Kucherov's better. No argument on the the quality of what Kucherov's brought. Um, need to say though, I'm I'm quite persuaded on Vasilevsky. I think his performance has been stellar, and uh, you know, I would have given the nod to him. Uh, I'm not convinced Vasilevsky's been the, as big a difference as, as everybody makes out. Uh, I think it's more a function of the team game and the, and the defensive quality uh, in front of him. The, he doesn't have to make big saves. Uh, he does when, when they happen, but uh, he let in some bad ones tonight, and he's done that throughout the playoffs. So, you know, I'm, I'm not willing to give it to him. I think Kucherov was better. All right, time for our Game 5 prediction. What do you think? Score and outcome in Tampa Bay in Game 5. 
Unfortunately, as a Montreal Canadiens fan, it, uh, it breaks my heart to say this, but I think uh, Montreal loses Game 5. Uh, it was nice for them to not lose in Montreal, but I think they lose in Tampa, and I think the score is 4-1. Well, I think my prediction that I had made for tonight's game is the right prediction, but it will be for next game round this game. 5-1 Tampa Bay wins in Game 5 and takes home their second Stanley Cup in a row. All right, anything else to add before we say goodnight? Um, the only thing I would say is I, I really liked uh, Alexander Romanov's uh, game tonight. I I like the fact that he just flipped the puck at the net. I, I've talked about it before about, uh, you know, these guys all want to wind up and take the big slap shot and it just allows the defense to set up and block it. And whereas Romanov flipped it in and there's one of those goals that Vasilevsky probably should have had. Yeah, I mean, it seems, it seems that there are, are those little uh, sloppy ones that <laughs> they're the ones that, you know, it's kind of like an off-speed pitch in baseball. That seems to trip yeah, up the, yeah. the goaltenders. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, be sure to click like and subscribe below. It really helps the channel. And also, we'll put a link to our website in the description below. Come on over and check it out if you'd like to. And we'll see you all back here for Game 5 in a couple days. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.